as Ian Gledhill coming into heat nine from Leamington Spa. So he's a Midland lad. Started his career with the Reading Racers as a junior. Moved on up to Stoke and then subsequently transferred to Mildon Hall. He's back at the races now on a loan agreement, replacing the desperately unlucky Tony Briggs, who sustained serious neck injuries. Tony is such an integral part of races championship winning squad. Tony uh, currently making a recovery in a special unit in Os Westbury. And every Speedway fan will be wishing him well. Schwartz, as always, a gritty competitor for the racers. Had a marvellous patch last year when he went unbeaten for four or five meetings, but uh, hasn't quite recaptured that purple this year. There's the score, bravely. 10 in front, this is heat nine, and unless they can produce something out of the hat, the racers have no big gun tactical subs left to call with both Schwartz and Anderson having completed their extra ride. Of course, now that they are six adrift, they can take their choice of gates, and any, in case any of you are wondering why they always seem to have the inside, once a team is six points in the rears after heat four, they can uh, take choice of gates, one or three. There will be the lineup, Bobby Schwartz on the inside, Two seconds and uh, Reading's only race winner of the night, apart from Anderson in heat one. He'll be on the inside, Alan Graham. Two tremendous wins, both from the back. He is in grid two in Gledhill, no score so far in grid three. And Phil Collins is always not a fast starter. He's had to uh, find the holes and the gaps through from the back. Phil Collins, of course, one of the great Collins racing clan from Cheshire. £15,000 buy for the Heathens, but he's a big favourite here. This is heat nine. Schwartz on the inside. Graham unbeaten thus far, grid two. In grid three, medal on the outside, Phil Collins. Here we go. And again, it is Schwartz who gets to the corner in front. Second place is Graham. Third is Phil Collins and Bobby Schwartz again. Then a picture start. There is both the Heathens close on Schwartz and Graham made his move against Anderson about here in his last ride, but uh, Schwartz is aware of him and is going for his life. Lap three and Graham this time tries the outside run, now swings back and Schwartz seems to have eyes in the back of his crash helmet at the moment, of course. He knows every inch of this Dudley Wood track as again Graham tries the outside run and has squeezed by. Tremendous. Really, Alan Graham is in vintage form and now here comes Phil Collins and he will try the outside run. Or will he go inside? He's switched back. And he's just left his run a little too late. Great win again for Graham. Second place, Schwartz. Third was Phil Collins. And Alan Graham a little perhaps overshadowed in this crazy side by the likes of Panel and Gunderson, the big glamour boys, but he really has given tremendous value here in this fixture.